Hi everyone, it's been a while since I filmed a sit down video um, and I'm doing this whilst Darcy is asleep so um, bear with me, I might be a bit frazzled like I said it's been a while since I filmed a sit down video um, and I also want to get it done reasonably quickly while she's sleeping um, but I wanted to share a cloth nappy and cloth nappy accessory haul video with you. Um, it's very niche content, I know, but I recently started up a new Instagram account called Darcy's Dinners, where I'm sharing parts of her weaning journey and all things motherhood and cloth nappying. Um, so if you want to come and follow us there, you're very welcome to. Um, and I've gotten really into this sort of content. Um, I've been using cloth, na cloth nappies now since April of this year so I'm about three months in and I'm really enjoying it. It's been for me one of the best switches that I feel I've made um, in parenting and getting more and more into cloth nappies is encouraging me to make other eco switches too which I'll talk about a bit in this video. Um, and for full disclosure, I've recently become a brand rep for a brand called Bells Bums, who produce um, reusable products. So primarily nappies, um, but also cloth wipes and reusable sanitary wear um, in beautiful prints. There are so many to choose from, so many different retailers stock their products. Um, and I just wanted to share all the stuff with you that I've bought recently. Um, so there are a handful of items that have been sent to me by Bells Bums which I will share with you first. Um, so like I said for full disclosure I am a brand rep for them now um, or a brand ambassador for them now but their ethos is not to sell sell sell, um, it's to encourage people to try switching to reusables, um, that's their primary ethos and that's part of the reason I wanted to um, join their team when they asked me because I don't want to just be like selling stuff to you um or on instagram or whatever i want to share these products because i genuinely believe in them and i really like them and bell's uh, bums products now make up the majority of our cloth nappy stash yeah without further ado let's jump in i know this is niche content but this channel is primarily motherhood now because that is my life <laughs> so like i said i received a few items for free um one of them i actually received because i named the print so i'll start with that um it's this gorgeous bumblebee print and if you follow me on instagram um or you've watched recent vlogs from me you'll know that unfortunately we lost my auntie in april um after a sudden health event and um she loved bees and i see bees and bee stuff everywhere now um and bells were holding a competition to name their new prints for their new hazy days collection and this bee print was one of them so i named it all a buzz and that's the name that was chosen so that's really exciting um, and this is called a mini pod so it's a pod shaped wet bag um, and people use these for reusable sanitary products reusable wipes um, one nappy will fit in here a few newborn nappy wraps would fit in here um, I'm not sure what I'm going to use mine for yet this is my first one but yeah I got my little mini pod also in that print I was sent a nappy pail so this is what I use to store my nappies in um, when they're dirty so I've got one hanging on the back of Darcy's door now and um, every time a nappy comes off I just pop it in there if it's just a wet nappy I literally just take the inserts out and pop it all in the in the wash bag um, if it's a dirty nappy then sometimes I'll rinse it out first um, post weaning you do need to try and get a bit more of the poo off um, before it goes in the wet bag but then when the bag's full I just pop the whole thing in the washing machine um, I shake out all of the nappies into the machine and wash the nappy bag as well and that's it I'm done so it's very handy to have another of these especially in this gorgeous print then I got my first flip nappy um, and this is in the tippy toes print which is so beautiful um, and I've made a reel about flip nappies which I'm going to upload soon on my Instagram but basically it has a detachable insert inside it's an all-in-two nappy so it's got the absorbent part and then the wrap and you detach the absorbent part and you can flip it over to have fleece on the top or athletic wicking jersey and you can also flip it round to have the main absorbency at the front or the back of the nappy so for us 
Um, we need absorbency at the front primarily because Darcy spends a lot of time crawling or on her tummy playing with her toys and she often sleeps on her front now as well. So we need that absorbency at the front of the nappy. So being able to have like a customizable nappy like this is great. Um, so that was in my ambassador package. And then the last item that was in that package uh, is a wet and wild pull up. Um, so these are great as like a transition to training pants for older children who are potty training. It's birth to potty, so it's a, a fully adjustable. Um, so is this nappy. Um, you basically pop the rise settings up and down depending on how big you need it. And it's got different um, waist poppers as well. Um, but you can do this one up to the size you need and then use it as a pull up. Um, but their primary uh, use is as a swim nappy. Um, and I can't wait to try it out. I think it does have a pocket on the inside. Yes, it does. The best thing about these for me is that they can wear this on the way to the swimming pool. Any other parents will know that swim nappies uh, don't hold in wee. They're designed to let the wee pass through but just catch any poos. Um, these, you can pop an absorbent insert into the pocket so that they can wear it on the way to the swimming pool and you won't get any leaks. And then you can just pull the insert out of the back because it's got a pocket here. You can just pull the insert out of the back and into the swimming pool they go. I personally think that that's genius. So that was my ambassador package from Bell's Bums. And now I'm gonna run through all of the bits and bobs that I've ordered over the last month or so. And I've been keeping them in Darcy's crib. I haven't even used any of it yet because I wanted to share it with you. <laughs> First of all, I have a small order from a shop called Flora and Fauna Nappies. Um, and from here, I ordered a size one wrap. And I love these. They have a double gusset. So you can see there's um, one elastic there and another here. So that forms a double gusset, which means their containment is good. They're going to catch those poos. Um, they have fluffy fleece lining so they don't leave any um, sock marks on the skin and they are um, also adjustable they've got different rise settings different waist poppers and these are primarily marketed as like newborn wraps so you would use a fitted nappy underneath this and then pop the wrap over the top but they still fit Darcy at eight months old so I will be honest the reason that I've bought these and I have picked up a couple is because I am hoping to put them away for when we have another baby, but they are one of the most economical ways to use nappies on your, to use cloth nappies on your baby, because flat nappies are cheap. They're one of the cheapest ways to, to nappy your baby. And then these last a really long time. Darcy is on the 75th centile, so she's not small at all. Um, she's eight months old and these still fit her. So I don't feel guilty about buying these at all. I'm still getting use out of them now. Um, and yeah, this one is in the print Make Every Day Earth Day, which is so gorgeous. And then I ordered the Breeze Wrap as well, which is the Birth to Potty version of this wrap that also has the fluffy binding. And I use these at night over her night nappies because her night nappies are big. Um, we use Reusable's fitted nappies at night um, with one of these over the top. And that's perfect all night with no leaks. Um, and I got them in the matching print so that if we do have another baby, I can get a matching photo of them. Because <laughs> that is just how my brain works. Then I have another small order from um, My Mini Hippo. I feel like I actually got something else from them and didn't save it for this video. Oh, I got two um, nappy shells from them from Bearbot. Um, maybe I'll put up a picture if I've if I've got a picture. Um, I ordered those a good few weeks ago um, and the service was great and they have a great range of products so I went back. <laughs> First of all I have another size one wrap in the print Secret Garden which is one of the most beautiful prints I, I think I've ever seen and again this is a Bell's Bum size one wrap. This is a Bear Bot pocket nappy um, I can't remember what the print is called, but look at these gorgeous watercolour turtles. So stunning. Little Miss has woken up from her nap, but where were we? We were looking at this lovely pocket nappy from Bearbot. So this is just the nappy shell and it doesn't come with any inserts. 
again it's birth to potty so it's fully adjustable they estimate from like 10 pounds upwards <coughs> yeah um and these nappies are lined with athletic wicking jersey also so they keep baby cool and they um, have a stay dry property as well to keep baby feeling dry although i do tend to put a fleece liner into my nappies um and they have a <laughs> And they have a double gusset as well, which is great. We love a double gusset, don't we? Yes. Then we have a Reuse Bells roller pocket in one of the Bells Bums new prints, which is called Star Walls. Absolutely gorgeous. The roller pockets are fantastic. They are fleece lined with the softest fleece ever. Um, again, it's birth to potty, so it should last her till pot potty training. Do you like it? yeah they um also have a double gusset i believe yes they do and um they have an insert that is sewn in at one end um so it's kind of like a pocket kind of like an all-in-one but these are fantastic and we don't need to boost these at all at this stage um they are wonderfully absorbent just as they are so that was my mini hippo uk <laughs> let's crack on so Next place I ordered from is Pumpkin Brown Eco and they have a fantastic range of products, not just nappies, they sell everything um, that you could possibly think of um, when you're making more sustainable and, um, you know, environment friendly switches in your home. Um, the first thing I bought was another BearBot pocket shell. I love these, along with Bell Bells Bums, um, BearBot is probably one of my favourite brands at the moment. Again, it's just an empty shell, but it's got this beautiful like watercolour um, beachy pattern on it. I think it's called Life's a Beach, this one. Um, and I got the matching wet bag because I thought um, for <gasps> summer days out, that would be really lovely. Um, or maybe for her swimming bag. Um, so yeah, that's the matching medium wet bag. <laughs> Wow! And then I also got from there a large pod in the Bells Bums Secret Garden print. Um, and this whole pumpkin brown order basically came about because I realised I had forgotten to order this pod. And then the place that I originally <coughs> ordered from didn't have them in stock anymore. So I found them on pumpkin brown and I ended up ordering the rest of the bits to go along with it. Um, but honestly, this print is just my favourite and I'm so glad I finally filmed this haul because now I can use this pod. Um, and if you're wondering what a pod is or what it's for, it's essentially a wet bag, but I use it to carry my cloth nappies when I'm out and about. So the one I've got currently in my changing bag is also by Bells Bums. Um, and I can fit four nappies in there with all of their inserts, a wet bag um, for dirty nappies, um, and that's a medium wet bag so one that's like this size I can fit that in there folded up a change of clothes a cardigan socks a pack of wipes you can fit so much in them and I know that some people use them instead of a changing bag they just don't use a changing bag and then from pumpkin brown I also got my first set of reusable wipes so this is a pack of 10 from tots box in different colors and then this is a pack of 12 Terry Squares from Muslins. Um, and I basically got these ones because they're really big. And then these ones are super soft. And I just wanted to try out a couple of different brands um, and see which ones I like best. And I've also got some Bells Bums ones later in the haul. Um, but yeah, first lot of reusable wipes that I've bought. Um, ironically, I made the switch to nappies before I switched to wipes. Um, we'll see how it goes, but everyone tells me that wipes are like the best switch they made, so hopefully we'll have the same experience. I've just realised that the lighting in here, it it's deteriorated, it's gotten quite a bit darker, so I do apologise for that, and I apologise for the chaotic nature of this video, but that's what happens when you're trying to film while the baby's asleep and then they wake up. <laughs> okay, next shop is called Dinky Dodo, and they have an exclusive print from Bell's Bums, um called dinky dino and we actually call darcy darcy dino um so I, I just couldn't resist it but this is beautiful little pastel dinosaurs with a pale blue 
at the top and it is a nappy pail so now i've got three which is a perfect amount because i can have one in the wash one spare and one in use and it's handy to have a spare to be honest because if we go away just for a weekend i'd be quite comfortable using cloth nappies for just a weekend and then bringing home the dirty ones um because i wash every two to three days anyway um so yeah a weekend away wouldn't be an issue at all and i could quite easily take my nappies in a nappy pail like this yeah so i just couldn't resist this print so i bought the size one wrap again for if we have a future baby but like i say this does fit darcy um but i bought the wet and wild pull up as well like i say you can use these just as normal nappies with an insert in or you can use them as swim nappies um and i i just couldn't resist getting darcy something in this print that she can wear um now oh so cute i was also sent um this <coughs> don't you try and pull that phone down on your head you'll go bump um i was also sent this insert from dinky dodo and i'm not sure what it's what it goes with or whether it was just sent as like a trial or something but i could put it in the pull up to use as a nappy but it's really lovely and soft i've just had a look at the label and it's called the anchor insert and it is uh 50 percent 55% hemp, 45% cotton on the first layer, and then a second layer of bamboo and terry cotton, I think. So that sounds like it's going to be super absorbent, so I will definitely give that a go. I also ordered their pod, which is cream with like neutral coloured rainbows on it, um, because pods are fantastic for packing. And again, if we go away, I wanted to know that I would have decent nappy storage, so I got another pod are you being cheeky are you being cheeky we are down to the final shop now um and this is a shop called fleecy bums they had 15 percent off on launch night so i did buy the majority of my stuff with them um she's about to try and pull down my tower of nappy stuff i think um oh you got your wipes very nice I did buy the majority of my stuff with them on launch night. My order arrived today, so I've been waiting on this order to come before I could film the video. And um, one of the nappies is actually missing, but um, Abby noticed <laughs> and emailed me before the order even got to me. She realised that she had this nappy left and um, thought it might be my order. So um, she's sending that out to me tomorrow. And I, if I remember, I will try and pop a picture in now of what that looks like. So I ordered a birth to potty pocket nappy um, from Bells Bums new Hazy Days collection in the print Dare to be Different, which is these beautiful peacocks. Um, and then I ordered the rest of the collection in pockets as well. Um, I didn't get the Star Wars print in a pocket because I had it in a roller pocket from a different retailer. Um, but these are the rest of them. So this is these are the nappies on their biggest setting, just to give you an idea. Um, so this is one of the nappies in the print Rise and Shine with all of the rise poppers open. So that gives you an idea of how big the nappy goes in comparison with, um, do I have one on the smallest setting? I mean, for example, this is the bare bot nappy on the second smallest setting. And you can see if I scrunch it up a bit so it would be smallest, you can see the difference. So they really do last. And as your child changes shape, um, they go up and down the rises. But most people are still using their cloth nappies at potty training. You know, the same ones that they were using when their child went into the, the birth to potty size. So I think it's a fantastic investment. Um, but anyway, there's a ramble. This one's Rise and Shine in a birth to potty pocket. And then I got All A Buzz, which like I said before, I actually named this print. So of course I had to have the nappy in it. Then I got Secret Garden, which I cannot wait to put on her. I just think this is stunning. And then Santorini Blues, which is beautiful. And these are the luxury pocket. I think all of their new, I think all of Bell's Bum's pocket nappies are made to this standard now. 
um, but they are fleece lined, have an internal double gusset. They have fleece on the back elastic so they won't leave sock marks. They're just such beautiful quality and so affordable because that is at the heart of what Bells want to do. And I will leave their website in the um, description because they have an incentive scheme. So if you are interested in trying cloth nappies, you can get a, a, there's a few different options to choose from, but one of the options is getting a nappy and accessories for simply the price of postage, which I think is incredible. Um, so I will leave that in the description because I have had messages on Instagram from people who are curious about moving to cloth nappies, but don't want to make the investment and don't necessarily want to hire a huge kit um, from a nappy library. They just want to try out one or two nappies. So that might be a good option for you if that's the sort of thing you're interested in. Anyway, back to my haul. I got my final size one wrap, which is in All A Buzz, because again, I named it and I feel like if we have another baby, I would love to be able to take matching photo of them if they're both in nappies of course this is assuming that we have another baby when darcy is still in nappies um who knows what will actually happen um are you pulling my hair thank you very much then this nappy uh is called otterly adorable and it was on a crazy discount so i bought it my dad loves otters and whenever i see otters i think of my dad so i bought this plus it's a rainbow background and i love anything with a rainbow for my little rainbow baby um but this is an all-in-one so if i open it up and again that was it on its biggest setting so this comes with i believe this is called a z soaker and it's sewn in at one end because this is an all-in-one and then it pops in with a popper at the other end to keep it in place but by making it detachable it means you can um, pull it apart to wash it and uh, dry it so it dries quicker basically um, and then the nappy part itself is just that lovely luxury fleece lined um, and the insert itself I believe is bamboo based but these are bomb proof I've got a couple of all-in-ones for Darcy from Bells and I call them my bomb proof nappies because she just doesn't leak out of them and she just doesn't outwee them even though they're not boosted um, obviously you can boost them there's room where are you going there's room underneath the insert to boost it um, but I don't feel the need to at the moment these are bomb proof for us we're getting there we're getting near the end we're getting near the end <laughs> I got a pack of the Bells Bums reusable wipes to try these are the rainbow edged ones they have a velour side and a grippy side um, bamboo based i think they're going to be great they feel so soft already i can't wait to try these is it going to be good so the last few items are wet bags so we've got a medium wet bag in star walls because honestly since i started using these wet bags they are so useful like so useful especially with a baby when things often end up damp <laughs> they are so useful um, and we go swimming every week as well and I'm constantly having to like rush to make sure that everything's washed and dried and if I've got a couple of wet bags I know that there'll always be one you know in the nappy storage waiting to be used so I got it in Star Wars which is beautiful and then I got three mini wet bags and I did actually buy these with uses already in mind in the changing bag um, so I got all a buzz and then I also got Secret Garden and Santorini Blues um, for snacks, all those sorts of things in my changing bag. And I also keep a little section of my bag for me. So it's got like lip balm, breast pads, like all that sort of thing, um, sanitary products or whatever. And now I can pop them in here and keep them a bit more organised. And the last item was a complete um spur of the moment decision and to be honest i love it but i don't know if i'm gonna keep it just because realistically i don't need it i just got swept up in like the launch day excitement i think realistically i don't need it um so i may send it back or um sell it to someone maybe who missed out on one um you can't get the phone i'm nearly done darling um, and it's a change and go bag, which is a brand new product released by Reusables um, and Bells Bums 
no and i got the print santorini blues i was trying to think ahead and be more gender neutral in case we have any more children but basically it's a change bag that's been like specifically designed with cloth napping in mind with lots of different pockets and it's made out of wet bag material same material that the nappy um, outers are made out of it hangs on the pram um <laughs> you're very curious today aren't you yeah it hangs on the pram um, and it has everything you need inside it basically and it works as a changing mat as well so you can see why i got swept up into wanting one and it was only 19.99 which for this sort of thing is just a complete steal um but I don't think I need it because I do have a changing bag that works perfectly well. So um, I may end up selling this on to somebody who missed out on one, but I wanted to share it anyway because I think they're a fantastic product and I believe, I hope anyway, that more will be released soon. This was sort of like a trial run to see how popular they were um, and they were very popular. <laughs> so yes, that is everything that I've bought over the last month or so and I've been saving up to share in a haul. Sorry again for the crazy lighting and baby being all over the place and stuff in the background that needs to go to the loft and everything. My life is just hectic now. Um, but I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions about cloth nappying, please let me know. I might do a Q&A or something. So if you have any questions, leave them below um, and I will try and get back to you straight away or save them for a Q&A maybe next week. Excuse me. But I hope you're having a lovely day and I will see you soon. Don't forget to check out the links in the description. Like I said, I'll pop the website for Bell's Bums in there. Have a, go, have a go at the incentive scheme. Try out a cloth nappy. It's worth it. <laughs> I will see you next time, guys. Bye.